Hey everyone, Dyrum here, bringing you a Path of Exile guide to roll maps in 3 easy steps. All the links are in the description. Two steps are preparation and the third is rolling the actual maps, which will be a piece of cake after step 1 and 2. Step 1. We need a small third party tool called Awakened PoE Trade. Link in the description. We are not trading, well you could, but this tool is incredibly useful overall. Go to the link, download the installer, install the app and open it. You will now have a small icon in the windows bar, bottom right. Right click it and open settings leak. You should get a pop up that you should run Path of Exile and while Awakened Peewee Trade is running in the background, you can press shift plus space bar to launch it. We're not going to do that now, first step 2. Step 2. We're going to make a regex link or regex. Type in Google PoE Regex, open the website Path of Exile Regex, link in the description. A uh, regex is basically a string of text and numbers which you may not understand but the game does. This website allows you to make a regex or regex, I really don't know, which is just that string and it allows you to do that in a very user friendly way. The beauty of a regex is that it creates a very short string with a lot of information in it meaning by using a single regex you can typically roll all your maps. You pick the map modifiers menu on the website which brings you to this screen. For now we will keep it easy and only select mods we cannot run. That depends on your build but in my case with cast on crit detonate dead I cannot run reflect, cannot regen, less recovery of life and energy shield and minus max all resistances as I want to level my character to level 100. You select all of those and then you scroll back up and you see the regex string at the top. Once again it doesn't make much sense to you probably but trust me this works. All you have to do is copy the string. Step 3. Open the game. Make sure awakened PoE trade is running. Go to your hideout, press shift spacebar and the menu pops up. By pressing the cog you can open the settings but you shouldn't have to change much in here, anything really. Another overlay will also be up the map rolling menu which is where the magic happens. If you don't see this menu click the button where the settings are to make it appear. Your map rolling overlay will be empty but that is an easy fix. I manually entered a few commands by hovering the menu and clicking edit. Here you can enter some commands. So I've done things like unidentified, magic, rare and corrupted just to make it easy on myself. And then in the fifth slot we paste the regex we made earlier. Give it a friendly name like runnable maps and save. Now we get the maps that you want to roll and we put those in the stash tab. Use control shift to make life easy on yourself so if you control shift click from your inventory they are not getting automatically back into the map tab but in an actual stash tab. I've picked a bunch over here and now it is as easy as getting some currency so I always use wisdom scrolls, chisels, alchemy orbs, scouring orbs and vial orbs. And now the magic starts. First. Shift spacebar again and hover over the unidentified button and click it. It will show now all unidentified maps. Identify those with a scroll of wisdom. Second, shift space and click magic. Use a scouring orb on all magic maps. We only run rare maps after all. Same thing, but now click rare. All maps that do not highlight should now be normal maps, meaning we use chisels on those and after they are 20% quality we use an alchemy orb and the final one we use the regex that we just made. All maps that are highlighted in game are runnable maps meaning that they don't have any of the modifiers that we just selected like reflect damage. If they do have those modifiers the maps do not light up. For the ones that don't light up you use another scouring orb then another alchemy orb and rinse and repeat until you have no more mods you cannot run or there are no more maps that are not highlighted. And for the final step I personally use Val orbs too to corrupt most maps. That is pretty much a no regret move so what I tend to look for is map quantity. You can even make another regex for this if you so please. If the quantity in my case is below 80% I use a Val orb on it. 
One last time, you use the regex command. Some maps will become not runnable anymore because a file orb can change the map modifiers, but that is the price for doing business and choosing maps. Take those maps out, fender or sell them, and now you're good to go. Just a few minutes of work, but you can get going for hours after doing this. I hope you enjoyed this video, let me know what you think. Also, let me know if you have any suggestions or questions. Subscribe and like for more ARPG guides and I will see you soon. Thanks for watching and making it to the end. Love you all, bye bye.